Hey everybody, Lady B here. Uh, sorry about the lighting. Uh, our electric is out. It has been out probably. Oh, I guess I can find my cell phone here. A um, little over half an hour. And uh, <laughs> everybody is panicking. When it first went out, I went out on the uh, street to look up and down the street to see just how far the outage went. Both ways I could see electric on, oh, I don't know, six, seven blocks away, both ways. So it's just local. But I called the electric company and they said it would be 3 a.m. for uh, estimated restore time. Um, it is now 11.37. So I guess we'll have a while to go. And I have got one and two of my oil lanterns going and yeah I think I've got probably enough <laughs> uh, you all know how many I've got I've lost count now it's either 39 or 40 that I've got so uh, I think those will become uh, either good barter material or I can give them to people that don't have them but anyhow uh, I was on the computer a little while ago very conveniently, talking to Bears here about a book that came out yesterday, would have been the 27th, called Lights Out by Ted Koppel. I will order that book. Uh, he's done a lot of investigations and stuff into an EMP, and he says it's not if it will happen. He said it's when it will happen. Now, I am nowhere near ready for something like that. I have nothing solar. I have no, no, nothing wind. Uh, it makes me realize just exactly what I need to do. But financially, you know, that's what holds a lot of us back. But um, hopefully in time, and I know we don't have a lot of time either, but I need to get that stuff done. A few times that I've had money to do something like that, you know, other things came up and that's what we had to use it on or I <laughs> since I'm here by myself but um, when the power goes out like this it makes you realize you know what if it didn't come back on for a long time if ever you know summertime is not bad I went this whole past summer and I only turned the air conditioner on when my grandchildren was here and it got a hot, pretty hot a couple times but I made it I figure if something like that was to happen then it, <laughs> I'd be used to it you know uh, don't know about the cold the only thing I have is kerosene heaters and not nearly enough kerosene or the uh, jugs to put them in and real in real real life you know who's to say how long it'll last without electric you know, they're not going to be able to pump it. I don't know how much I can store, but I need to find other ways to keep warm. And I'm here in the city, and there's no way, I don't think, that they would let me put in a wood-burning stove. Because they said the regulations have changed so much that you just about can't get them put in anymore without costing you know, two arms and two legs. <clears throat> but anyhow, uh, if you all want to know more about, about that book, just look it up. Uh... On one of the online stores that we all shop at they do have it uh, for the Kindle it is $12.99 and for the hardback it is $16.66 but I will be getting it I don't know I want to read it now so I thought about getting the Kindle and if honestly if the electric hadn't have gone out I would probably be reading it now on my Kindle because I know it's charged but you all go check it out and uh, I think it's something that we all need to read. So I'm going to get off of here. And <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. But I've got plenty of lighting. So it's hard telling. But uh, hopefully the electric will come back on a little bit. But it gives us all something to think about. So I'm going to sign off for now. Y'all take care. Stay safe. And we'll get through all this somehow. 
Thanks, y'all. Take care. Bye.